This is the plaintiff, Crystal Outerbridge. She says the defendant, her former friend and neighbor, got drunk one night and danced her way into her flat screen television and knocked it to the floor. Her beautiful TV is now smashed, and all the defendant had to say was oops. Well, oops ain't gonna cut it. And that's why she's suing for the $4,319 she's owed. This is the defendant, Paula Prester. She says she started dancing to Beyonce and she accidentally bumped into the plaintiff's TV and it fell. She started babysitting for the plaintiff for free in order to work it off. The thing is, the TV was used and now she's suing her like it was brand new when everyone knows the thing was old and isn't worth nearly what the plaintiff is suing her for today. She's accused of being a boob about a tube. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock of the plaintiff says her former friend got wasted and smashed her big screen. But the defendant says she was dancing to Beyonce, so get yeah, over it. Form, it's the case of crazy in court. Crystal Outerbridge, you are suing your former friend, Paula Prester, for $4,319 that you say she owes you for busting up your TV at your house. Tell me what happened. That's correct, Your Honor. Um, this occurred on October 1st of 2010. Uh, uh, at 2010? The time, yes, ma'am. At the time, um, Ms. Prester and I were our next door neighbors. Um, we'd been friends and neighbors for years at that point. Um, I'm well known in the neighborhood for um, my cooking, and so I was doing a small dinner party. Um, about four people were invited. It was simple, just you know, sitting down, enjoying a nice meal together conversation, maybe playing a little cards or watching a little TV, a very simple evening. You say you're known for your cooking in the neighborhood? Yes, it, I am. Is she known for her cooking in the neighborhood? Amongst other things, yes. What do you mean amongst other things? Wow. For being psychotic and yelling and screaming at people and... Okay. Wow. Apparently not enough for you not to show up at her dinner party. All right, so go ahead. So you, so Thank she, you, Your Honor. She comes over and what? Yeah, she showed up. First of all, Ms. Prester showed up late. So everyone else was already seated and eating and enjoying the meal. What did you um, cook? I had uh, honey barbecued short ribs of beef, um, homemade uh, mashed potatoes with seasoning. Um, I had pie for dessert, green okay. salad, nice meal. Um, so she shows up. Everyone else was already seated and eating their dinner. As she came in the door, as she walked past me down, because I have a long, had a long foyer, and as she walked past, I smelled a slight, very slight odor of alcohol. But I didn't think anything of it. She certainly wasn't slurring. She certainly wasn't stumbling or acting in any manner as though she was, you know, severely intoxicated. So she came in. She told me that she wasn't feeling well. And so she wasn't going to stay for the dinner party. But she wanted me to make her a plate to go. Really? I, yes, ma'am. I thought that was kind and of you're, odd. You're in the middle of eating with your guests? Why yes. didn't you tell her to get lost? No, I wasn't going to do that. We live next door to each other. We've been or very... Or tell her to go make her own plate. Why were We've you making We've never had it? a problem in the past. We've been very friendly. Yeah, you are way um, nicer than I am. Okay, go ahead. So, you know, she came in. She said she wasn't going to stay. She didn't feel well, but she asked me if I could make her a plate to go. I did think that was a little bit odd. Like, you know, if you don't feel well, then why show up? Why, you know, why not just call or text and say, hey, I don't feel good and I'll see you another time. Um, but I said, sure, I'll make you a plate to go. You know, it really wasn't a problem. It was plenty of food and everything. So um, I left her in the living room with the other guests. The television was on. I think there were like music videos playing at the time. And when I left out of the living room, she was seated. She was seated. She was making some small talk. And I went into the kitchen and I started to prepare a plate for her as well as some dessert. So that took a little time to get it together. I was in the kitchen for a few minutes and I heard this tremendous crash in my living room. So um, I ran out of the living room and the first thing I see, I, I'm sorry, I ran out of the kitchen. And the first thing I see in the living room is Paula on the floor picking herself up along with my brand new TV. And she's saying to me, Crystal, I'm so sorry. It was an accident. I was dancing. She said something about her heel. And I fell. And uh, somehow she knocked into the television and brought the whole TV down with her. I have pictures of the television prior to it being destroyed. Prior? I know what a TV looks like. Go ahead. Okay. 
fine. Um, did you take pictures of it after it was destroyed? I did not. At the time, I had no idea it was going to come to this, that I would actually have to sue her. Um, what did she say to you that night? Immediately, she picks herself up. She dusts herself off. I asked her, are you OK? She says, well, I'm going to go and see if I'm OK. Picked herself up, picked up the plate of food that I'd made for her, as well as the dessert, and left, leaving the entire party in shambles. She didn't, right. add, she didn't she help didn't clean, clean up. up. She didn't... Oh, no. She didn't offer to help clean up or anything. Um, so, you know, I went and I took the television to a local repair shop. Can't be repaired. No, ma'am. All right. So... Oh, I'm sorry. So, no, that's all right. So then uh, after that night, does she talk to you about it? Well, yeah, we did talk about it. I took my receipt because my television was three months old. At the time. At the time. That's right. I took my receipt and I showed it to her and she agreed. We came to an agreement that she was going to pay the full balance for the television as well as the stand because the TV stand was scratched and there was a glass table that was right in front of it that was cracked. I didn't even sue her for the table because the table was already used, but the TV stand and the TV were both new. So um, we came to an agreement. I showed her the amount of the total amount of the purchase, which was $4,319. And she agreed to pay $300 a month for the next 18 months. But or, she didn't pay that. No, ma'am, she didn't. Um, she was actually supposed to start paying the next month, which would have been November. She didn't start paying until January of 2011. And how much did she pay? She made an initial payment. She was supposed to pay $300 per month. She made an initial payment of $150 and told me that she would give me the rest of the $300 for that month. She'd give it to me later in the month. She never did. And, but, and we're talking about January of when? 2011? That's right. Why did you wait so long to come to court? Uh, actually, there were a couple of things that went on. I had to move because my ex-husband uh, was stalking me and there were problems, so I had to focus on moving yeah, but to get away from there. Yeah, but it doesn't take three years there. to move. No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. There were other things going on. My sister was murdered by her boyfriend, so obviously, yeah. Sorry, by her own boyfriend? Yes. My sister was murdered by her boyfriend. So what made you I'm, think of it now all this time later? When she wrecked your TV and you moved out, that, that was how much time? A year? That, no, that was approximately a year and a half, two years. Right. About and two during years. that year and a half for two years, and she's not paying you. Mm -hmm. Are you guys friends still? We weren't. I was trying to communicate with her about it periodically, and uh, the responses she would give me were very nasty and negative. She would start okay, so to you were curse. Not and, having, yeah. Right. At, at, so it reached now, a point where let she me just ask was you what happened. <clears throat> Ms. Outerbridge did invite me to a dinner party. She didn't specify it was a small dinner party. Before, as we spoke about the dinner party, she knew I was going to a previous engagement, which was a ba baby shower. Yes, I did have a couple of drinks at the baby shower. I showed up at her place, which we lived right next door, which I wasn't feeling sick. I don't know where she got that from. Were you drunk? No, I wasn't. I was a little tipsy, I'm not gonna say, but I wasn't slurring my words. I wasn't stumbling all over the place. I had a nice time. I did. How'd you record TV? I was dancing. I had wore heels. You had worn heels? Yes. Okay. I normally don't wear heels, but it was a baby shower. Decided to go dressed up or whatever. I wore heels. I was dancing. Why were you dancing at a four person dinner party? What happened? It, her living room was no a big living room. The TV was towards here. I was already standing up. I was never sitting. Wait, wait, why did you break out into dance? Like, what, what, what? It was Beyonce. I it mean, was I Beyonce. Came That's the answer. It was Beyonce. Beyonce came on yes, the TV I'm, singing I'm what? I'm telling the truth, so I'm going to be... Singing what? It was either Crazy in Love, if I'm correct. Okay, and so you just couldn't help yourself because it was Beyonce. You got up I and break that. I was tipsy. So how were you dancing? Show me how you were dancing. You no. managed to, to ruin a TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So to everybody, would you ever show up at a dinner party late, say you don't feel well, and then ask for a plate of food to go? Absolutely. You would, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Don't you think it's a little guy gauche? No. <laughs> would you do that? I think that's so incredibly rude. <laughs> I, I mean, but what if, I mean, I, I, it's interesting because if you really feel sick and you say, look, I really tried to make it, I didn't make it, and, and, there's, and, and I don't have anything to eat because I'm going home because I was going to your party, is it really bad on, on a level? I think so. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, it's horrible, going inside the courtroom. How do you break the TV? Because though? I was dancing with the heels, and I did a little turn, and the heel, like, you know, when your heel goes like that, so I kind of And then like what? That, you fell on I the fell TV? And I fell into the TV, like my elbow at the TV. Why didn't you pay for it? it? 
Initially, we agreed that night. It wasn't the next day, it was that night. When I fell, my initial reaction, reaction was, I'm sorry, I'll pay you for it. Just let me go make sure but I'm not bleeding. But according to her, all you've ever paid is $150. Yes, because she said that altercation we had, she turns it around. She did, we did have altercation in the um, hallway, in the hallway of my building. And as we were talking, she started calling me a thief real loud. Wait a minute, a when drunk. did the altercation take place? By then, no, she no, got mad because we you weren't paying. No, the altercation took place, I say, about 2012 before she moved out. I understand that, but listen to me. You broke her TV yes, in correct. 2010. Yes, correct. I made a payment. You had paid one $150 payment after you promised that night that you would fix what you broke by paying her back. Correct. You weren't even going to pay her back. Put your hand down. All at once where she could buy a new TV. Correct. I just, you were going to pay her back dribs and drabs, and she okayed that, and then you couldn't even be counted on to do that. So, because. of course, two years later, when you've done nothing other than $150 measly dollar payment, you don't, how would you feel? If you had a $4,000 TV that somebody decided they had to dance, all the single ladies or whatever you want to do, <laughs> which I can never imagine Beyonce doing. I only imagine Justin Timberlake in high heels doing the Saturday Night Live skit on that. But, you know, and then you bust it up. You promised to pay. And you don't do, you not only broke it, then you broke your promise. How do you think she's going to feel about right, it? Right, and in terms of that, her TV wasn't new. I only agreed what that What are you talking night. about? I Excuse have the receipt me. for it. Thank you. It you you busted old. it up it October three months 2010. Old. I had a depreciated value. I also did favor. Wait, stop. I also stop. did things for her she didn't stop. pay me the for. Stop, The first thing you said was also a lie. All right. She has a receipt for its purchase. Right, and it was three months old when I broke oh, it. Oh, I see. So it was at a depreciated oh, value. Oh, I see. Anyway. So you don't feel it three months. If you bought a $4,000 TV, three months later you'd be calling it new, but she can't. No, she can't call that new. quote new. It wouldn't be new. I do accounting. It's okay. at a depreciated value. All right, value. go on. So during after that, I also did things for her that we weren't that she didn't pay me for. Why didn't you pay her the $300 a month? To be Stop. $300 a, a month was a deal? That's correct. Why didn't you pay her the $300 a month? Because you agreed I didn't have it. I lost my job, and we agreed that I would do favors for her as well as babysitting, no, braiding her daughter's hair, Miss Oh, so Sierra. you think that braiding her daughter's hair no, is worth 4000 No, it was on a regular basis, watching her son, Christian. She called me. She got in contact with me while her sister died. Can I ask a died. question? When are you responsible for stuff? I am responsible. When she her sister died, she reached out to me. Aren't you? She reached out to me while her sister died. At that point, I gave her my condolences. She didn't mention the TV Your to me. Your condolences aren't worth four thousand. Right. She didn't mention the TV to me. We didn't discuss nothing about it. How many times does a person it. have to poke you to get you to do what you're supposed to do? She moved. There was no contact. It's also, not like you don't have to I pay got... your bills when you don't pay your bills for two no. years, and then somebody moves. I'm saying, you know what? Stop talking. Just stop talking. Just stop. Stop talking. Right, In your lawsuit, you don't uh, give her credit for the payment that she made. Uh, actually, I mentioned that I right. did give her uh, credit for that. Absolutely. Okay. I find in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $4,169. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, the defendant couldn't dance her way out of that obligation. And got nailed for it in court. What's, what's your feeling here? Well, my feeling is she didn't give me credit for everything I've done for her that she didn't pay me for. On top of that, she turned everything around like I was the bad guy when she went defaming my character. So, mm -hmm. but the judge made her order, so I got to live with it. Mm -hmm. So how come you didn't, what was your defense about not paying her back? She the, moved, she was ignorant, belligerent, and she went telling people I was a drunk. And for to be a drunk, I would have to be drunk every day. And I wasn't well, drunk you, if I wasn't slurring. So you mind. don't think you owed her the money for the I TV I think I owed her something, but not as much as what she was saying. All right. All right. All right. Around the corner here, this way. All right. Come on in here. And so how do you feel about this verdict? Thank you. I feel fantastic. Right. I think the judge made the right decision. Um, I certainly didn't want to have to do this. However, Ms. Prester continued to ignore the debt. And, you know, I didn't feel it was fair for me to have to kick out that much money again for another TV without her making the restitution. How, how is she as a dancer, you think? <laughs> I don't know. I think she must be a terrible dancer. I don't know. All right. Harvey? Okay, Kurt, you know what? Two years is a long time to wait before suing. But the fact is, it's within the statute of limitations, and she's allowed to do it.